We are the ones we've been waiting for. Hopi Elder, now that you have a sense of how the videos will flow, go with it. The Yoga Sutras will set the course as in our travels, we explore each tributary of the eight limb path. The daily videos that follow are an invitation to get into the canoe of your practice and flow down the river of yoga. You may go deep into uncharted waters. You will surely encounter challenges and delights along the way. But first, you must get into that canoe and let go. In class, I say. Let your practice be a refuge from the need to control. And I suggest the same to you. Get out of the driver's seat for a while and enjoy the scenery. Let the river of yoga take you where it will. If you hit white water, stay in the canoe and keep paddling. When you enter calm pools, do the same. At a Native American gathering in Arizona for the 1999 summer solstice, a Hopi elder said, there is a river flowing now, very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and suffer greatly. Know that the river has its destination. The elders say we must push off into the middle of the river. Keep our eyes open and our heads above the water. See who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time in history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment we do that, our spiritual growth comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves, banish the word struggle from your attitude and vocabulary. All that we do now must be done in a sacred way and in celebration. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Now go to your mat and push off from the shore.